Thor, son of Odin. Sasa, son of a bitch, you're still alive. I thought my father killed you like a half a million years ago. I cannot die, not until I fulfill my destiny and lay waste to your home. You know, it's funny you should mention that, because I've been having these terrible dreams of late. Asgard up in flames, falling to ruins, and you, Surtur, are at the center of all of them. Then you have seen Ragnarok, the fall of Asgard, the great prophecy... Now, hang on. Hang on. I'll maybe back around shortly. Do I really feel like we were connecting there? Yeah. Okay, so, Ragnarok, tell me about that. Walk me through it. My time has come. When my crown is reunited with the eternal flame, I shall be restored to my full might. I will tower over the mountains and bury my sword deep in Asgard. Oh, hang on. Give it a second. I swear, I'm not even moving. It's just doing this on its own. I'm really sorry. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're going to put your crown into the eternal flame, and then you'll suddenly grow as big as a house? A mountain! The eternal flame that Odin keeps locked away on Asgard. Odin is not on Asgard. And your absence has left the throne defenseless. Okay, so where is it, this crown? This is my crown. The source of my power! Oh, that's a crown. I thought it was a big eyebrow. It's a crown. Anyway, it sounds like all I have to do to stop Ragnarok is rip that thing off your head. <laughs> but Ragnarok has already begun. You cannot stop it. You cannot stop Ragnarok. Why fight it? Because that's what heroes do. Wait, I'm sorry, I, I didn't time that right. Now. You have made a grave mistake, Odin's son. Oh, I make grave mistakes all the time. <laughs>